Yep, keep going just like that, baby. Now we're cooking with peanut oil. We're back at White Oak Manor and it's day three of the reception barn build. Today we're gonna to be working on the rafters for the shed roof and the two gable ends. So let's make it happen, Captain. For more great content, don't forget to like and subscribe. We're making that push for a thousand subscribers. Now let's get to framing. I think we put in un, un poco de extra braces, just in various levels. No, no sería tan mal, yeah, poner una ahí, para acá, y más o menos, just various, maybe unas cinco o seis braces más. Ponerme una, una más, por lo menos right here. Maybe poner una más aquí a medio este parte, y ponemos dos más aquí. So tres más braces, una brace, y dos braces right here. Solamente que tenemos más listo, porque totalmente vamos a ocupar unas 20 más rafters. So es mejor que estamos un poquito más cerca con, con lo que hay. <laughs> I, I, I was trying to find my coffee cup. And if I don't find, you know what happens if I don't find my coffee cup, Fati? <laughs> yeah, I'm in a foul mood. All right, buddy, I think I think I wish I wouldn't have brought all these inside, but right now it's not gonna be an issue. I think we can fly this one up relatively easy in the first couple, but as we start filling all these in, yeah. I think flying them in from the inside. But I'm, I'm just letting them go a little, get a little ahead of us. Look at that arch. I know it. Look nice. at the arch, buddy. Yeah. It's looking good. <laughs> it is. All right, but I think once we get a little closer, we should have a little bit of extra manpower. We should be able to get these things up. Maybe it will just be a little less crane. We'll set a couple of, my main goal right now is if we can get, the, just get as far as we can without it being a pain in the butt. Once it starts being a pain in the butt, we'll just stop and we'll move and do something else that's not a pain in the butt. Maybe like the other side where it's a little bit more open still. Yeah, but I, yeah, that, that might be what we do is leave the rest there so we can fly them last ones in from just outside. Yeah. It'll just be much easier that way. Maybe dame una, dame un taladro con este broca. Right there. All right, Alex. Lower to load. All right, let's try it up a little bit. Take me out of there, Fido. No te caigas. Okay, yo voy a tenerla que no se mueve. Are you me to tenerla, Fido? Yeah, there we go. Yes. Yes. All right. Yo voy a levantarla con la gruba. Yeah, the electro tumbia. All right, Alex, let's pick it up just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, perfect. Your boys, boys start fouled like he come on a quarter. So this is the interesting part about this type of build. There's nothing that has really the same measurement. The width of this post is 11 and a half inches. A couple of those posts in the middle are exactly 12 inches. One of them's 12 and a quarter. So each one of these rafters is gonna to have to be individually cut so that our roof plane stays the exact same. And we're just gonna to have to be really cognizant of level as well. So that we make sure once we attach these rafters and that beam looks really, really level right there. That's right nice actually. The thing that worries me is having some of these pre-cut for an eighth or so short we just need to make sure that they sit really strong on that ledger board and we can bolt these things with a couple really nice strong bolts. 
get that shim, Fido. All right, let's go down a little bit slow. Vamos terminar de marcar ese layout también. All right, right there. All right, hold it right there. Don't move it. Thank you, Jesus. Even though we had to shim this rafter here, after we build this solid gable wall directly balloon framed underneath, she will be structurally sound. And that's just what we're gonna have to play with with these beams being the different measurement. We're just gonna have to pull individual measurements on each rafter to make sure they can be a lot tighter than that. We can't continue that on per se in, in the middle here where there's nothing that could be added for support. All right, Alex, this is time for trivia. Let's see if you can name, you can name the artist or the name of the song. So if you tear my heart, my achy, breaky heart, I might blow up and kill this man. There you go. All right, you're one for one. Let's do another one. You're too legit. Too legit to quit. Hey, hey. Can't touch this. What is it? What is it? Come on, Alex. Who is it? MC Hammer. MC Hammer, yes! Yes, yo marqué cuatro media. Oh, ajá, cuatro media. Más unos siete ochos. That's it, right? So let's move it over here. We'll let him pick it up. We'll just slide it on around. And go right up slow, slow, slow. Ah, he met her all over here. Yeah. All right, all right, swing it, now swing it left. Hold on, Fido, tend to Belancia. El está muy paca. All right, now we're gonna need to boom it up. D d no, you know what? Just raise it up. Raise it on up and lower the load. Ah. Oh. Well, this is gonna get interesting, I guess, all day. Okay, there you go. Okay, there we go. That makes me feel better. <laughs> we're getting ready to struggle worse than the other one. Okay, yep, keep going just like that, baby. Now we're cooking with peanut oil. Right there. Hasta ahí, Fido, de veras. Just work all the way to the gable. We're gonna work all the way to the gable, finish this side off. It's getting a little windy, buddy. That's all right, though. That, that, the last few went real smooth. Let's run, let's run out these five. That way, after lunch, we can move the crane. That'll help us at least get to a furthest point where we can just pack him up and move him to the other side. Now we're getting a little bit more rhythm. It took two hours to get two of them up, and now we got an hour, we get four of them up. That's a little bit better. Maybe pick it up a bit and lower the arm. Oh, oh, oh. watch out. Empujar los dos por cuatro por fuera. There you go. This beam's got a big time bow in it to the inside. Now these were about an eighth inch, but this one's about three eighths inch or a half inch. So we're gonna pre-drill a hole here and take a 12 inch screw. And once he gets it bolted down on that other side, we're gonna send something through there and close that thing up a little bit. Keep that center portion a little straighter. Hopefully, hopefully it works. By the time we get done with this thing, we're gonna look back and be like, wow, we took that bunch of lumber and all those truckloads of wood that came in and turned it into this. And that's part of what's exciting about it every day. That impact drill ain't no joke, buddy. We might be switching from Dewalt to Milwaukee. Just wanna make sure all those batteries stay charged because even though we're framing the holes for those uh, stained glass windows, which are gonna be beautiful, by the way, 
They're coming in today at one o'clock, so that hopefully they get installed and that goes smooth. But we're gonna need a lot of drill power to get through the rest of the day with these big beams. Everything is screwed. It may be tacked periodically with nails, but we're gonna have to screw it off and it's just really gonna put a strain on those batteries. We're gonna stay on top of that all day. At least they fit in the hole, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then. Now I'll fill it with some blocks. I was just scared I was gonna have to cut that plywood so I didn't fill it the rest of the way, but we're gonna tack that off real quick. I'll lo load that up kind of like you see this first one over here. Yeah. So that wherever they want to screw to, they have somewhere to screw to. Right. And then that'll be good enough for us. All right, that'll work. All right. So I got one of them already filled here. So you should be able to just pick anywhere you want pretty much to screw into. Oh, okay. And I, I've got the rest of these pieces cut now. I was just scared that it wasn't gonna fit. So, but now that it, we've tested it and it looks good, I've got the blocks all ready. I'll go ahead and tack these off. Cause I imagine y'all probably just wanna get to it and get on. Right. Each one of those windows is about $4,000. So hopefully it goes in smooth, nothing happens to any of the glass. And then we'll put some protective cardboard over them. So hopefully nothing stays on it during the rest of the construction. But they should be the finishing piece to make it look like that and feel like that old school chapel. All right, I'm gonna build that gable wall over there, TJ. I'm gonna need about four or five 14 footers. If I don't have 14s, grab 16s. After that, I need four or five 12 footers. And after that, I need 10 footers. You got me, Poot? When you walk backwards and you go, you ain't listening to Poot. I know you ain't got it. Okay, yeah, that's right, that's right. Did you already grab a whole nother stack? Rafters? Yeah. No, I need to get some more. You need to buy some more? No. No, I just need to go get some more. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, damn. I was gonna say, you can't be buying no more lumber, Alex. Oh, no, I know it. All right, yeah, can you give me another row? Yeah. Give me another. You want me to bring it to? You want to just leave it outside? I think we just leave it outside. All right. Can you grab it from there? From right here? I doubt it. I probably had to bring it. If, if you mind, just take it out back there if that's where you want it. I'll and I'll take this one around there where we were. Where, where you were cutting at, and then I'll bring that pattern out there and we'll work it from there. We got plenty of guys now. We should make this thing give you something new to look at. There, we gotta speed it up a little bit. It ain't, ain't making Pappy happy. <laughs> we gotta keep it going, baby. Hey Poot, I need you to love your job today, baby. You really gotta love your job to be out here and do good today, okay? Whenever you pick up a big piece of lumber, I just want you to think I love my job. All right, first song. Can't touch this. Okay, there we go. All right, achy breaky heart. That's my boy, that's my boy, Billy Ray Cyrus. Billy Ray Cyrus, there we go. Ice, ice, baby. That's vanilla ice. Ooh, there we go. A, Maddie da a Daddy Mac will make you. Jump, jump, a Criss Cross will make you. Jump, jump. <laughs> you passed, that is a $50 bonus, sir for all correct answers. See, I told you somebody would know what's going on. If you can see way over there, we're gonna have, we got four people trying to crank that generator up. We can just see how long it takes. Now look, they got the supervisor coming in. See if by the time we get to the fourth person, they can actually figure it out. I'm gonna have to go see if we can help save them, Ryan. If not, they might never get that thing cranked up. And it ain't nothing but flip one switch. I got you, I got you, hold on there. No, it's because ese resort no está conectada, ve. Uh-huh. And the choke is just, I think this is actually tied to the choke. 
Pull through. She tried. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Algae and pack a little gas. They cut the gas off. All right, let's get to some rafters, baby. We ain't got but a little bit of time left in the day. We got a lot of rafters left to do. I know I don't like to, I'm not involved that much, but sometimes if I can just give them a little bit of direction, it just makes everybody work a little smoother. I try not to micromanage as much as possible, especially being that I can't be a part of their day every day, all day long. Sometimes you just gotta let them go and just do, do their own thing. It's the only way they're gonna learn to, to make mistakes and how to more efficiently do things. But when you get to a type of job like this, sometimes you just gotta put yourself in there. This is all there is to it. But all in all, it's gonna be worth it. I can't wait till these tongue and groove decking boards go on the roof. It's really gonna sure this thing up. And then I won't have to be worried about 20,000 pounds just on these two by four braces. They just get really saggy right here in the middle. It just does, doesn't make me feel comfortable until it's all locked in solidly. And we just won't be locked in until the roof decking is on. That delivers first thing in the morning. And we're gonna have a long day of one by six decking. This is the one really cool thing about this place. You got 55 acres to explore. You got trails, you got ATV trails, you got walking trails. You got a natural pond over here. You've got a pond that he's building over here. So you're gonna have things to do in nature. You can stay here, you can get married here. You, you can have your, your reception here. And you don't, you, it's all in one shop. Literally just bring food and Paige and them are gonna handle the decorations catered to each individual's likes and needs. So it's like you don't have to go anywhere but one place and you can actually just stay right here and there's a lot of cool stuff to do all in one spot. All right, one more. And the center section is done, baby. Let's go ahead and put some screws in that, Carlos. I'll take the straps off. There's just nothing easy about this job, dude. No matter how fast you want to do it or how hard you want to do it. There's nothing easy about it. Hey, 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 Alex, Alex, they got one in, buddy. Wow, they even put a design in it, looks like. Is it really? So each wind is different. Oh man, that's cool. Oh man, Alex has got the cross in it, brother. <laughs> oh, they look so good. Wow. I didn't know I didn't know what to really expect. Yeah. Did you see the design beforehand? Yeah, I did. Man, I'm so excited that the windows came in a little bit early. We were not expecting that. And they look absolutely amazing. I can't wait to see the rest of them installed tomorrow. We've been plugging along all day at the reception hall, but we've ran out of light. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, y'all have a great day.
can't touch this. It's your hammer. My achy, breaky heart. I just don't think you'd understand. George Strait, get. We're gonna have to try it with somebody else. George Strait, I wish you would say George Strait. <laughs>